What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to recover lost files from a crashed computer, unbootable hard drive, and blue screen of death. Now yes, this is a sponsored video, and I have worked with this company in the past. Recently I worked with them a couple of weeks ago, and I'm working with them again because they have another great product to offer. Now they have not paid me to say good things about this, they've simply paid me to do a video on it. So whatever I say is going to be 100% truthful. Now, the first thing I'm going to criticize is the instructions on the website for this specific uh, program. The reason for that is because I've had trouble um, putting this together, meaning how to actually use this software. Um, this video was supposed to go live about a week ago, but I've had to figure out different ways how to actually get it working. And you'll understand why when we get into the video later on. However, this is the start. So this is the program right here. It is data recovery. And the first thing you need is either a DVD or a USB. Now for me, I'm going to be using a USB, specifically a Toshiba 32 gigabyte USB. It's already connected to my laptop and I'm going to select create bootable drive up here on the top right. Now from here, you're going to get this message. Just select start. And from here, you can see it says create a USB bootable drive. That's because I have a USB drive connected. If you had a CD, DVD, it would appear over here. Now for this, if you have multiple USBs in or even an external hard drive, make sure you select the correct one. So this is my, the only one I've got in and I'm gonna select create. Now it's gonna ask you to format your drive. If you format it, it means everything on it will be deleted. Now this is my USB, there's nothing on it already, but I'm just going to format it because it's the only way to get past this process. Now, as you can see, it is done and these are the next settings. Adjust the BIOS to boot from USB, connect the USB flash drive to your computer and restart your computer. And this is where I criticize the company. And the reason for this is because the instructions aren't very clear. It tells you to adjust the BIOS to boot from USB. As easy as that may sound, there is a bit more things you need to go into. Also, this view guide button here wasn't very useful. There are a lot more steps and I'm gonna be showing you that in this video. So we're gonna restart the computer and what we're going to do is enter the BIOS. Now there's uh, multiple ways. F2 is for me, you can use escape, you can use F11, F12, I believe also F7. Now for me, like I said, F2 is for my laptop. Yours may be different. So as you can see, this is now the bias. And what we're going to be doing, first of all, is coming across to security. And what we're gonna do where it says secure boot, we're gonna turn this to disable. Then what we're gonna do is come across to boot and we're gonna change boot option one to our USB. So that's mine right there. We're then gonna to come to boot option two and we're gonna disable this. Then we're gonna to come to the UEFI setting where it says UEFI boot. We're actually gonna disable this. Now we can press ESC to get out of this. We can then come to exit and we're gonna select save changes and reset. What this is gonna do, we're gonna save the changes and we're gonna restart the laptop. Now, if this wasn't safe to do, I wouldn't be demonstrating this to you right now. It is very safe. Now, press F7. And as you can see, Windows is now booting. Now, this is just booting from the drive itself, the USB. And as you can see, the program has appeared. So as you can see, we have a hard disk copy, data recovery. So let's go into the data recovery and you can select the type of files that you want to recover. Now, you can pick any of these. Uh, they're currently all selected by default and you can select next. So from here, you select the location to recover data. So where you probably have most data is on a single hard drive, like me. I have a two terabyte here, so I know all my data is on there. From there, you would select start and everything will begin to recover. The reason I'm not doing it is because I'm not in the situation that I need this program right now. However, if I was in a situation where I needed to recover files, I would go to this program because I believe it is actually very useful. 
just the only thing that I have to criticize, the instructions were not very clear. But other than that, that is the end of the video, and that is how you would recover your files from a crashed system.